Well, good morning, everyone. How's it going? I'm over here at the airport. It is O-Dark 30 in the morning. Uh, the flight leaves at 7 a.m. going over to Hilo, Hawaii. Going to go over there, do a little bit of business for the company, and I'm going to spend some time exploring the east side of the Big Island. Uh, a few months ago, I was over in Kona on the west side visiting my cousin and his wife, and I'm going to spend some time over on the east side. The east side is where they have the volcanoes and a lot of the lush tropical uh, side of the island is that is the windward side of the island getting a lot more over there. Also Hilo is the town that got hit with the tsunami back in I think it was 1946 on April 17th so it should be uh, a very good trip because I'm looking forward to going to some of those areas. Uh, the last time I was on the Big Island was back in 1985 I think it was when I was in college so uh, looking forward to this trip. Uh, we plan on taking some shots of takeoff and landing, if at all possible, and you'll get to see those as well. It's an open air airport, surprisingly enough. So here, take a look around. And oh, wait. there it is. There is the airplane right there. So, huh? Interesting airport. Come on, I'm a little bit of 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 a little b
at the observatory, uh, well not the observatory, the uh, visitor center. The observatories are up that way, uh, still up several thousand more feet, and it's, uh, th this is about the 9,000 foot level, and as I pan around you can kind of see some of the mountain behind me. Uh, I am here in shorts and slippers and freezing my tushy off. <laughs> so I didn't plan to stay up here that long, basically just come on up and then head on down. I don't uh, plan on going all the way up to the top of the mountain. Um, they recommend having four-wheel drive and I don't have that, so I better be safe than sorry. So anyway, here you can take a look around and I'll get some other shots in there and I will talk to you later.
Aloha moka wea moka wea ku umoku He kahi hoa i ke aloha mamala Wala i ka noho na mena ha kupuna Ha mea ho i ka ume ka maluhi agi He aloha moka wea moka wea ku umoku He kahi hoa i ke aloha mamala Wala i ka noho na mena ha kupuna Ha mea ho i ka ume ka maluhi Kilohi aku veo ina paliko olau kau mai ilu na ike ku kila kila me kau ano e kau. Hey guys, how's it going? All right, I'm over here at the edge of the volcano. You can see behind me some of the smoke and different items behind me. That is the Kilauea Caldera, the home of Madame Pele, is uh, over there at the Kalimama portion. But this whole area is uh, her abode, her residence. Nana kuva ui kaleva landi ki kahamaila naiva puni kamoku emakania navela mai oku. So that, that is pretty huge, and that's where all the lava is. You can see all the steam coming up. A couple areas you can see the yellow where there's sulfur coming out in the steam, and it's condensing and forming there. So amazing stuff. Deep earth E nui na ho ia o moka wega I ku u hana ua o ke aloha I ku u va o pio no ke ia vaki E aloha moka wea, moka wea ku u moku e E nui na ho ia o moka wega I ku u hana ua o ke aloha I ku u va o pio no ke ia vaki E aloha moka wea, moka wea ku u moku Hey, aloha no mokawea. Ma kau kau. Ai ea no ka vika ka heki o Nāpua. Ea, ea no da vida ei hei, ta he te o Nāpua ei hei, ea no da vida ei. Oh, no, he did do in the 
Balani, eh, Nava, yet a hua, Iluna, eh, Tapa, a care, him, a hua, eh, Nava, yet a hua, Iluna, eh, Tapa, a care, him, a hua, eh, I, na, yamai, devu, and ha, eh, Kalani, ha, 